In this video, we pool our storage to create a super volume. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will use Windows storage spaces to combine two separate drives into one. Why would we do this? Typically, you can have either a fast drive or a large one, but not both. And typical SSDs and M.2 drives rarely offer more than 2 terabytes in mid-2019 leaving the combination of smaller, faster drives as our preferred option until larger capacities enter the mainstream. We intend to combine our F and G drives in this tutorial, and as this is purely a demonstration, these drives are far smaller than they would be in the real world. From our desktop, we click the Start button, then search for Manage Storage Spaces and run it. Within the Manage Storage Spaces dialog, we select Create a New Pool and Storage Space, either from the left column or from the centre of the screen. Given the power of this utility, user account control appears to validate our instruction, and we click yes to proceed. In the next dialog, we see our two hard drives, and again, we're working with virtual drives on a virtual machine, and the principle works identically on a physical machine. Note the clear warning that this process wipes the content of drives beyond recovery. We can click the option to view files in both drives to inspect their content. And here, we see that our G drive is empty. Should you find files which you need to keep, you may wish to view our tutorials dedicated to file and folder backup, as well as full drive imaging. We select our first drive using the tick box, then the second. With both selected, we click Create Pool. Windows then advises that it's creating the pool. Now we need to add some basic details for our storage space, beginning with the name which we wish to see in File Explorer. As this will be our games drive, we logically name it Games. With the drive named, we can assign a drive letter from the drop-down. This will present a list of all unallocated drive letters. If the letter we want is currently allocated, we'll need to select another before following our mapping and remapping drive letters tutorial to rearrange the drive letters on our system. Although we can amend the file system, we accept the default NTFS unless we have a very specific reason to change it. The default setting under resiliency type is two-way mirror, which is designed to duplicate data between two drives to guard against the failure of a single drive, and this is an entirely sensible strategy. Our strategy is far more of a gamble, as we select simple, no resiliency. In practice, this means that we are combining the total capacities of both drives into a single volume with no backup. We therefore gain higher capacity on the understanding that the failure of a single drive will corrupt the entire storage volume. Our pool is assigned the maximum storage size by default, combining the total capacities of all of the drives within the pool. When we click Create Storage Space, Windows begins to format it, and we see that a storage space has been created and assigned to the system as a single drive named Games, mapped to E, with a capacity equal to the total of the previous drives. Where File Explorer originally showed two drives, we now have only one. It's now some time later, and we want to make changes. We once again click the Start button, searching for Manage Storage Spaces. Our existing storage pool is shown, and we click Change Settings. User Account Control again seeks confirmation of our instructions, which we provide. We can click to make changes to the pool, including name, drive letter and capacity, with the most powerful option being to delete the storage space entirely. With our storage space selected, we click Delete Storage Space. Then we click to delete the pool, and with the pool selected, we click to delete it. When we return to the Storage Spaces window, we find it empty. Our drives are also entirely absent from File Explorer, and will need to be reinitialized. For that, we right-click the Start button, select the Disk Management option, and follow the process shown in our video on configuring a new hard drive in Windows. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.